with Zach Grzmicki representing Stout MMA out of Pittsburgh. How does it feel to advance to 3-0 by a knockout in the first 30 seconds? Uh, it's absolutely ecstatic. Am I allowed to swear on this? Absolutely. All right, fuck yeah, absolutely ecstatic. Uh, I wasn't expecting that, but I'm not surprised, motherfuckers. <laughs> What's this win mean to you, advancing to 3-0? Uh, it means everything, honestly. Just with the help of my coaches and teammates helping me push me to get to this point, I mean, I've tr tremendously leveled up in the last couple months, and it's all because of them. So, How'd you prepare coming in? What was your game plan? Honestly, I just worked a whole a bunch of striking. I know my wrestling's great. Um, I train with you know, D1 wrestlers, national champions, blue, be blue belts, yellow belts, I mean, brown belts, purple belts, black belts. Again, they're all dogs. They just level me up every time. What was your expectations when you walked into that cage today? Uh, a little nervous, but I mean, my warm up helped me and calm all that shit down. Um, I mean, I, I know he had some boxing, so I just had to, you know, be wary of his hands. He threw some, he had some power. He hit me with like two good, two good shots. Um, but then I don't know. I landed my one two and a nasty overhand. Actually, I, I gotta see it again because I really fucking remember it. I missed the replay myself, so. But I fucking, I fucking saw him just, and I was just like, I just did that? What the f Yeah, so that was fucking sick. So you advanced at 3-0. Yes, That's a lot of pressure and expectations coming from that. What can people expect next from you? Um, just keep leveling up, you know, just keep getting better. Uh, expect better from me next time. That's it. Congratulations on your win. Looking forward to the next Thank one, you, brother. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it.